Hi, this is Mr. Robinson helping you with the unit activity called functions. So in this unit activity, um, you need to apply function rules to a um, situation where you have a plant that's growing and using um, some plant food. So here, Ryan conducted a six-day study observing the effects of organic plant food on the growth of his sprouting bean plant. He tracked these two pieces of information. The amount of plant food remaining in the container after, after each day's feeding, and the height of the plant over time. So part A, he found that the amount of plant food remaining decreased in equal amount each day. And he used the entire 72 milliliters by the end of his study. So his study was six days long. He used 72 milliliters. So we can figure out the rate of change each day by dividing that, and that will give you that rate here. Let me give you a, a similar problem here Let's with a situation of, let's say I have $400 and I spend all my money in eight days. So let's write an equation for that. So if that's the case, I have 400 I start off with. I had eight days in which I spent it all. So I can use my calculator here to figure out, okay, what's my rate of change? 400 divided by eight gives me a rate of change of $50 a day. So this will be my equation in that type of scenario that, that I'm painting out for you. And so now with that, um, this is a discrete situation because each day I can figure out how much money is left. So after three days, I can say three times 50 is 150, 150 minus 400 is $250 left. And so my F of X or would be my y variables. And so my y intercept is my y value when x is zero. If x is zero here, my y intercept would be 400. All right. Um, my domain in this case would be my days. Uh, this, uh, this would be eight days. My range would be, would be um, from zero to 400. But again, it's discrete. It'd be 400 day, one of the days, 350, 300, 250, all the all those would be part of my f of x. And so that would make that again, you know, a discrete type of situation or a discrete function of that scenario that's related to what you're doing here, the plant eating food. Now down here at the bottom, oh, okay, so you're gonna have to like graph some things and keep in mind you use a point if it's discrete, you use a line segment if it's a continuous function and um, ask you for the x-intercept, you should be able to do that. All right. So, again, if you give an answer like this, that's that means it's a discrete function you're dealing with. This one means it's a continuous function. So um, make sure you guys know the difference uh, and also be sure to note that your domain will be your X variables, which is your independent variable, and your range is your dependent one. Another graph, uh, here's a function here, and you need to know if this is discrete or continuous, because if it's discrete, again, you use a point, continu continuous, you use a line segment. Here's the equation you, ha you have here. All right, and that equation, you're gonna use, um, to figure out, okay, after 3.5 days, the height of the plant is, and so again, go back here, your days, use those numbers to figure out the height of the plant. And the height of the plant is 6.25 centimeters after how many days? So again, you have to use this equation, 6.25 is equal to, okay, so what does this have to be? How many days will this be before you can get that? So you should be able to do that. And then the final thing you need to do, okay, is explain the similarities and differences between the relation, relationships in this situation. So if, if both of these variables are going up, then that's a similarity there. You know, if um, one's going up and one's going down, that's the difference. Now, if they're both going up or, or, or they're both increasing at a constant rate, that's a similarity. So you should, those are some things that will help you um, at least give you some information. Uh, something to think about when you're answering this question. Good luck, and if you need anything, please get a hold of me.
Thank you.